okay guys there's the bike let's do a little walk around that's my 2004 Honda ST1300 in the dark pearl blue I love this bike it is awesome all right let's take a look at those delco vicks okay hey these are the delco vicks it was really easy to install these mufflers um i did a whole uh, video of the installation but we're going to talk about that <laughs> in a few minutes <laughs> and this is the delco vick company out of the uk and they look amazing now it's not that the uh original cans didn't look amazing uh they were made of stainless steel also it's just that um um the sound is different so let's uh let's give you a little sound uh clip now it's not overtly loud and these mics i'm using the uh, gopro it has a deep rumble but not too deep and 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 really since i've had it once you start riding it kind of mellows out but it's still louder than the stock let me give you a little rev one thing i do like about it is uh you uh when you are de uh, decelerating you get some pops and crackles and that's always for me i like them pops and crackles so that's the um new delta vix installed on the 2004 honda st1300 okay we're going to get back on the road and we're going to talk more about the buying experience and uh my trip to go pick these uh delta vix up. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about the experience of getting the Delcovitz, and there was a bit of a uh, there was a bit of an experience to pick those Delcovitz up. Now, I uh, met a guy named Gary off the ST Owners Forum, and he had the Delcovitz for sale in Michigan. Uh, he lives in Wy uh, Wyoming, Michigan. That's about a two and a half hour drive from Detroit. So uh, we, we spoke via text and we uh, met up, uh, we made arrangements for a meet and a time to pick it up and a date. So um, on the day that I was going to pick them up, which was a Saturday, uh, like I say, it's about a two and a half hour drive from Detroit. I was driving down uh, I-696, I mean 696, which is westbound. Uh, Wyoming, Michigan is, is west of Detroit, Michigan. So I'm on the expressway and I'm driving, I'm about 45 minutes into my drive, and then it started raining. No big deal, I'm a trooper, you know, we got up, we only got like another hour and 50 minutes before I get to his house. So that, as I'm driving, now I'm about an hour, maybe an hour into the drive, and um, out of my left, I'm noticing a pickup truck uh, coming over from the far, because I'm in the far right, this pickup truck's in the far left. I can see him out of the corner. He's speeding up, but then he's slowing down and he's coming over to the right side. And I see him and I'm looking and I'm driving and I see him and I see him. And all of a sudden he got so close that he, uh, his uh, right side rear view outside mirror that had an attachment to it like maybe he possibly was pulling a camper or a trailer or something, but he also had an extension to that, 
which was one of those round fish-eyed mirrors. Now, it's raining hard. He's coming over fast to the point where that mirror attachment on his right-hand side mirror hit the left side mirror, my rear view mirror, and knocked it off. And then as he hit, I guess he realized it and he shot back over to his left. And I'm riding and this thing is bouncing around on the side of the bike, it's banging up against the side of the bike. I'm nervous, there's a ditch over there, so I kind of regain, uh, regain my composure, straighten the bike out, I'm riding, and he takes off. But all of a sudden there's a viaduct coming up and I can see the viaduct. He put his left flat, his right flasher on first, then he hit his um, uh, hazards lights. So he's under the viaduct, I'm riding over, I pull over, I get out and talk to the guy. He's very apologetic, he said he didn't see me because of the rain, and I understood. So we sat there for about, you know, 10 minutes apologizing to each other, uh, or he apologizing to me about what happened, making sure I'm all right. Uh, he helped me, uh, Put the mirror back on my bike because there's there's three attachment points in the st13 mirror there's two attachment points at the top of the mirror and there's one at the bottom and when it came off and got crushed these there are these little pins there's four pins that sit there uh that captured a single pin that bent we bent it out we put it back on life was good everything was good he took off so uh, I get back on the motorcycle. I'm riding. I'm still heading west. Like I said, I got about an hour and 30 minutes to go. But I'm going to tell you something. I was really shaken up. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. That ditch was, and then there was gravel. And I could feel my front, the bike shaking. I'm trying to slow down. But, you know, you don't want to hit your brakes because that could be another, another tragic incident right there. So um, I was so shaken up, too. When I came to Lansing Road and 96 Westbound, there was a comfort in, and yes, I did. I'm soaking wet. I'm shaking like Don Knox. I was a bit thrown off. I got a room. Now, by that time, it was probably four o'clock in the afternoon. I checked into the comfort in. I'm soaking wet. I asked to use their, you know, after I checked in, to use a dryer. They had dryers there. I called Gary. I said, hey, Gary, something just happened. I explained to him the whole thing. He understood. I told him I just couldn't drive anymore right now. That's the first time that's ever happened to me like that in my life. And I was going to stay at the Comfort Inn, and I would leave out the next day to go uh, pick up these uh, slip-ons, the, the Delta Vic mufflers. So that's what I did. I stayed there overnight. I got up, made it to Gary's house. Now, let's talk about Gary. Gary's a really cool guy. Like I said, I met him on the ST owner's forum. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a sport tour rider. He's had two uh, ST1300s and he's had a Blackbird and he really likes the Blackbird. Now how I got the new Delcovics from him is he parted out his old bike and he bought a, um, a Miata M5. If I'm not mistaken that's the brand. Gary if you're watching this video I hope I'm calling your car out right but it's a beautiful black car. He's done some beautiful mods to it and um, we, I mean, we talked in his garage in the cold uh, probably for about 45 minutes. So he gave me a fantastic deal on the Delcovics. I paid $300 for the, the brand new Delcovics, and uh, now they're, they're on the uh, ST1300. But he's a real good guy. I want to give it another shout-out to Gary. I won't use his last name. From Wyoming, Michigan. Um, just a really, really good guy. All right. Now, let's talk about the camper. Now, I purchased a camper last week. It is a 1987 travel light camper. Oh, I met this lady on Facebook Market, and we once again talked via uh, text. She had just <clears throat> she had just listed it, but just so happened I just did a random Facebook search for a motorcycle camper. Um, even though I had been looking one for the last six months um, uh, in the shape and price that I wanted to be, to, to be, first of all, I met a guy in Illinois that had one, um, but that didn't work out. So, like I said, last week I went on a Facebook market, typed in motorcycle camper, and this particular one was the first one that popped up. So I, I gave her a call. Her name is Tammy. Now, she lives in 
Ypsilanti, Michigan. Ypsilanti, Michigan from Detroit is probably about uh, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how you drive. So uh, we communicated via text once again, um, once again on her, and we discussed the time and the date to meet. I drove out to Ypsilanti, and uh, here's a little short video clip of uh, the trailer. Hey, how's it going today, everybody? Solo Black 313, Rise and Ride coming at you. And on this cloudy, rainy Thursday in April, April the 29th, I'm headed up to Ypsilanti, Michigan to check out a motorcycle camper. So I want you guys to come along with me and go to Ypsilanti. Now, Ypsilanti is about a 45 minute drive from Detroit, Michigan. So uh, come on and hang out with me um, as we go to Ypsilanti. Okay, guys, I am the proud owner of a 1984 travel light camper. It's a done deal. We did the deal. This is my new motorcycle camper by Travel Light. I am so excited and I can't wait for the journeys that I'm about to take in this camper. And there's our cat. Once again, we're in Ypsilanti, Michigan, where I just purchased this new travel light camper, which is a 1984, but it is in perfect condition. And she threw in a few items. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, come back next week and pick it up. And I'll do a little bit of a uh, going over uh, how to set it up it's not complicated, but you got to do it a few times. Um, she says with two people, you can put this camper up in about five minutes. And with one person, you can do it in about 10 minutes. So once again, there it is, the Travel Light motorcycle camper. And I can't wait to uh, take it out on the road. And I'll get back with you guys in a little while. Okay, so we agreed to a price on the trailer. Uh, I gave her a down payment. Um, she knows I was going to try to talk her down, but she was she was she was <laughs> steadfast on the price, and I don't have a problem with the price. Now the price I paid for the trailer was fifteen hundred dollars, and if you do your research on these trailers, uh, that was a good price because as we know with COVID <clears throat> and the pandemic, all outdoor activity, uh, the prices of activity equipment, RVs campers, motorcycles, uh, camping equipment. In the last year, year or so, the prices of these things have gone up because of social distancing and people, uh, the, the outdoor arena is just exploding. So uh, today is Monday, the third. Uh, I'm going to pick it up Wednesday, uh, the 5th of May, 2021. And, um, and I look forward to getting this camper. Now, I know I'm going to have to make some, uh, I'm going to make some modifications, like uh, it's got a uh, condescent bulb lights. So I want to change all the lights to LED. Um, I want to get me um, some kind of uh, DC 12 volt power supply. Um, there's a lot of different ways. Do I want to go solar? Um, do I want to put a battery isolator uh, on my bike to run my uh, secondary batteries? Uh, to charge off the alternator of the motorcycle. There's just so many ways that you can, uh, you want to be self-sufficient with this camper. But I'm just really looking forward to bringing it back home from Ypsilanti uh, in two days, which will be Wednesday the 5th, um, and just um, really get to know this camera. And I think it's a game changer for how I camp. Now, I will continue to tent camp and hammock camp, but adding this um, motorcycle camper, it just, it just really takes me a step up. Sorry I haven't posted in about four weeks, but like I say, there have been things going on. Um, I've got the Delco Vicks, and then I put new, I put new tires on the um, ST1300. Last time you saw it, it was looking pretty sad. I had it up on jacks, and I had the tires off, and that was another story. Uh, I ordered the tires from uh, my favorite dealership, Honda Suzuki of Warren in Warren, Michigan, 
and the first set of tires I owe I, I bought um, I and I put the tires on myself I have the spoons and everything so um, I put the front tire on no problem and then when it came to putting the rear tire on I had the two spoons but then I use this thing. Hold on one second. <laughs> if you're the kind of person that <laughs> that uses uh it changes your own tire, you know you have I have the Motion Pro spoons. Never ever use one of these. To be that third hand you need to change your tire man i put this thing on that tire in between the rim and um i got my knee on one spoon i got my hand on the other one i got my hand on this one and i uh had so much soapy water this thing actually slipped up and ripped my brand new tire oh my goodness so i had to call um Matt at Honda Suzuki of Warren and Honda and order a second rear tire. Now, the first set of tires, front and rear, and I got the Bridgetone Battleac T31s, uh, were right at $300 for the set. So I had to order another rear uh, Bridgetone Battleac T31 for the rear. And that one alone was, I think, $189. Plus, I waited a week and a half on the first set, and then I had to wait a week and a half, a week and a half on the rear, the, the, the additional rear tire that I bought. So there's been a lot going on. Um, I've been uh, recruited from different job recruiters. That was another reason why I've actually taken some trips to interview for different companies. It's a possibility that I'll be going back to a main job instead of doing independent stuff. That's a whole nother, a whole nother topic and a whole nother time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry it took four weeks to make another one. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do motorcycle related videos. I do motor camping, motor repair, and I showcase motorcycle and camping equipment. Excuse me. <coughs> if this is something you like, Man, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, you know, subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell. That way you'll receive uh, notifications when I drop my next video. Okay, well, once again, uh, this is short and sweet. Got the new camper coming up. Look, for, look forward to some, uh, some videos in the future about the different modifications and trips I'll be taking in 2021. Solo Black, 313, Rise and Ride. God bless you guys. Thank you.